Today we are learning about distance time graphs, or commonly called DT graphs. What are distance time graphs? Distance time graphs show the motion of an object. The motion of an object can be described by the distance travelled against the time taken. The shape of the graph can also tell you about the speed of an object. Below is a distance time graph that displays the motion of five objects. Object A is travelling at the same speed throughout its journey. We call this a constant speed. Object B changes speeds. Object B starts slow then moves faster and faster. We call this acceleration. Object C is moving at a constant speed. Its speed is slower than object A. Object E is the same distance from the origin. We call this stationary. We often look for speed when looking at distance time graphs. To find the relationship between speed, distance and time, we can use this triangle on the right. For example, to find speed, we can cover the S and it will be distance divided by time. Here's our first example. The graph below shows the journey of your car. You visited your aunt's house and then dropped your brother at his friend's house before going home. Let's take a look at the graph below. We have time in hours on the x-axis and distance in kilometres on the y-axis. The journey starts at the origin and begins moving at a constant speed for an hour. It then stops for half an hour and then keeps moving at a faster speed. We can tell because the slope is now steeper. When distance becomes 90 kilometres, the journey home begins and you get home three hours after you start your journey. A. What is the speed of the car from your home to your aunt's house? To find speed, we'll do distance divided by time using the triangle on the left here. Your aunt's house is the first stop. The distance is from the origin will be 50 kilometers and the time taken to get there will be one hour. 50 kilometers divided by one hour will give us 50 kilometers per hour. B, how long did you stay at your aunt's house? We can see that we are stationary for half an hour. So it's 30 minutes. C, how far is your brother's friend's house? We can see that the final destination is 90 kilometers away. So the brother's friend's house is 90 kilometers. D, what is the speed of the car coming home? Again, to find speed, we'll do distance divided by time. The distance here will be 90 kilometers and the time taken is one hour. So the speed is 90 kilometers per hour. You leave home at 11 a.m. and ride a bike to a beach at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour for one hour. You stop for lunch. At 12.30 p.m. you continue your journey at a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour. You arrive at the beach at 1 p.m. You stay at the beach for two hours and then ride home at a constant speed of 13 and one third kilometers per hour. Draw a distance time graph. Your distance time graph should have time on the x-axis beginning at 11 a.m. and distance in kilometers on the y-axis. In the first part of the journey, you are moving at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour for one hour. So you have speed is equal to 15 and time is equal to 1. To find distance, we'll do speed multiplied by time. So it will be 15 multiplied by 1, which will give us 15 kilometers. So we start our journey at 11 a.m. And one hour later, you're at 15 kilometers. So we'll put that into our diagram. You stop for lunch and continue your journey at 12.30. So you're stationary for half an hour. You continue your journey at a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour and arrive at the beach at 1 p.m. So your speed will be 10 kilometers per hour and the time taken will be 0.5. To find distance, we'll do speed multiplied by time, which will give us 10 multiplied by 0.5, which is 5 kilometers. We are now 5 kilometers further away. You stay at the beach for 2 hours. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., you are stationary. Lastly, we ride home at a constant speed of 13 and 1 third kilometers per hour. We are 20 kilometers away, so we'll use Distance is equal to 20 and our speed is 13 and a third. To find time, we'll do distance divided by speed. So we'll have 20 divided by 13 and one third, which will give us 1.5. So 1.5 hours after 
3 p.m., we are going to be home. The last step is just to connect all the dots together. And now we've completed our distance time graph. Well done.